Okay, y'all, let's talk. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and today I got a little bit of a juicy video. So I'm going to be talking about some of the popular authors that I haven't read, or haven't read much of, and why. So obviously, as we all know, there are certain authors and books that are really popular across platforms on BookTube, BookTok, Bookstagram, Book Twitter. I feel like Twitter's the only one that doesn't get like a combined name, you know, everyone's like book talk instead of TikTok or booktube, bookstagram, but then Twitter. Book Twitter? But Twitter? I've got like seven-ish authors that I would like to talk to about today. But I also just want to quick mention that just because I don't read books by these authors or don't want to does not mean that they are like terrible authors or that like anyone who reads their books are like not good readers like that's not at all what I'm saying if some of your favorite authors are on this list it I'm not judging you in fact <laughs> in fact this isn't even a list of authors that I will not read it's just authors I haven't read in the past so like it's I'm not saying anything about you but this is gonna say a lot about me so the first author on this list is probably going to be like the most shocking like the kind of big like oh my gosh really uh, that's Sarah J. Mass. So obviously I'm a big fantasy reader and I am a big fan of fae stories. I love fae fantasy romance. However, I have not read Sarah J. Mass, who is like the biggest name in fae romance right now. And that is because of a really ridiculous story. I'm about to be judged so hard. Okay, here we go. When I was in like fifth or sixth grade, I read Throne of Glass and it scarred me <laughs> like I was not ready to read Sarah J Maas at that young age what had happened was is that the librarians had just gotten a bunch of new books to uh, stock in the school library and they had asked me for my help because I lived in the library I didn't go anywhere else I spent my recesses reading quietly on the couch in the library every day I was that sad kid. So, they asked me to read Throne of Glass, not knowing anything about it. And I read it, and I was like, oh my word, I hate this. That that was terrible. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scarred. I don't know what to do. So, I never read more of it. And that that's the end of my Sarah J. Mass experience. Uh, so, now that I am much, much, much older, I get the feeling that if I read, if I reread Throne of Glass, finished the series, maybe even moved on to some of her other series, I would probably love them. Honestly, I'm sure I would love Akvatar and The Throne of Glass and just everything by Sarah J Maas because she, it sounds like her writing is the kind of, the, her stories are the kind of stories that I would enjoy. However, at this point, now that I feel like I could be ready to read her books, there are so many of them and they're huge. Like, so many of them are just these big whopping chonkers of, like, this long series. And so, now that I feel I'm ready to read her, I am too scared to start. I would be, I'm so far behind that it would just take me probably all summer of me not doing anything during the summer, which already is not going to happen, but... It would just take me so long to read them all to catch up and then I feel like that's just not very interesting so like I want to read these books I think I think there's a little part of me that's like no just be the person who doesn't read Sarah J Maas like it's fine not everybody has to read her books and but like and I don't know like I just I just don't know if I really would because I'm just so far behind but I would probably enjoy them. But also maybe I wouldn't because there are miscommunication tropes I hear a lot and that, ooh, I hate miscommunication. So I just, I'm so conflicted on whether or not to. And every time I bring this up to someone, they're like, oh yeah, totally read it. If you love Faye, you know, you're gonna love the series. <sighs> yeah, but there, I just need that one little push over to get me to finally 
starts. So, <laughs> if you think I should read Throne of Glass or even just like skip Throne of Glass and move on to like Akatar or something like that or like the House of Blood and, I don't know, Crescent City? Crescent City series? If you think I should just skip to one of those, let me know so that I don't have to be super far behind. Yeah, like someone discuss this with me. Now that you know where I'm coming from, please someone discuss this with me. Let's move on to the next author. Uh, Colleen Hoover. I have not read any of Colleen Hoover and that's just because all the, the, the summaries that I hear about her books just don't interest me. I, I am not the biggest romance reader. But I have been getting into romance quite a bit more, and I think I would like to continue getting into romance, which flashback to like a year ago when I was like, oh, I've started reading romance, I don't know, and then two years ago where I was like, no, I don't read romance, I don't like it. It's been an interesting growth and transition. Like, Colleen Hoover is just so popular, and she had this new book come out, and everybody's reading it, and I just, I, it doesn't interest me. I think just pure romance books like that aren't contemporary romance or fantasy romance. I don't I just don't think those interest me. And so I'm not a fan of Colleen Hoover and I probably won't ever read her books. Just and then the last author that I haven't read anything by them is Riley Sager. And this is because I've heard that his books get better as he's written them. I just haven't started yet. I I want to read Riley Sager books. Some of his later books sound so interesting to me and sound like thrillers that I would very much enjoy but I just I want to start from the beginning so like survive the night one of his earliest books I want to start with that so that I don't read his latest release and then read survive the night because I like his books but then that ends up being terrible well it's because I read the latest release first the one that I think come October or spooky season I might just have to pick up a bunch of his books and like binge through them because I, like I said I really want to read them but I just need to get started. Like, so I feel like with so many of these authors, and especially the next one I'm gonna talk about, it's like, I want to, but there's so much and I'm so far behind that it's intimidating. Like, for example, this next one, Cassandra Clare. I have read the Mortal Instrument series. I have read everything with Clary and Jace and Alec and whatnot. I read that way back in like middle school, like right when they were first coming out and I really enjoyed them, I loved them. Since then, she has published so many other Shadowhunter books, and I haven't read a single one. I haven't read any of like The Chain of Gold. I have not read Clockwork Princess. I just, I haven't read anything other than that main series. And I just wasn't interested in it. Like that, those are books I don't think I'll ever read because I, I had my, I had my time with the Shadowhunter books and I loved them, but I think I'm just ready to kind of move on and not be super attached to those books and the kind of the premise of the other ones are not near as exciting to me and also they're getting pretty chonky so and when I was younger I used to love big books like chonker books made me so happy nowadays they scare me <laughs> because if there is a dip in that book and things get slow I will go into a slump and I will never come out so I probably will not be reading any more of Cassandra Clare unless she were to release something that sounds super interesting but also is different. Like again, I love the Shadowhunters but I am personally done with them. Anyone who, anyone who reads them now and like is working through like Chain of Gold and Clockwork Princess and all that, good for you! You go! You enjoy! I, I'm just not gonna read it with you. <laughs> So then I've got two authors where I read one of their books. I just, I don't know. The first one is Christina Lauren. I read In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. I thought it was an okay book. It was average. It was not anything that I expected a super hype romance author to be writing about. Like if they write a book and the premise sounds interesting, I'll read it. But at the moment, I am not in anywhere I'm not in any mindset where I want to keep reading the books that they've already published. I just, I'm kind of, I'm good. I'm not interested in reading any of the books they have already published. I'm glad I have read a book of theirs so that I know what it's like, but I just didn't think it was anything super special. So Christina Lauren is probably an author duo that I just won't read from. And then the next one, surprisingly, is V.E. Schwab, and I'm including both V.E. Schwab and Victoria Schwab. I have read City of Ghosts, 
and I do want to finish that trilogy. I feel like Victoria Schwab, a lot of their older books I really want to read and I found to be quite interesting. But like The Secret Life of Addie LaRue, Addie LaRue, I'm not interested in that at all. I probably won't ever read it, I just, it's not appealing to me. But some of their older like trilogies, the, like the, the villainous books, I want to read those. But again, I feel like everybody read those like 10 years ago. <laughs> maybe not 10 years ago, maybe more like 5 years ago, but like I want to read them. But I just, I feel like I'm so behind that do I even start? The last author that I want to talk about of just books that I haven't read of theirs. I actually just finished a book. So this is Leigh Bardugo. I debated on making a video like this right when the Shadow and Bone season one TV show was coming out, but I decided not to. But now I guess I'm going to include it in this video. So let me explain. I've read Ninth House and I thought it was good. I'd be interested in reading more of Leigh Bardugo's stuff like that if they come out with more stuff. Now when it comes to the Grishaverse, I read Shadow and Bone in high school. I just finished Siege of Storm. And I am going to finish the trilogy. I want to read the Six of Crows duology, and I probably want to read the King of Scars set. But again, I'm just so far behind. But I, I want to read them at least before the show, except the problem is, is that I've already seen season one of the show and not read Six of Crows. So I kind of failed on that front, but Leigh Bardugo, again, is one of those authors I just haven't read much from, but I want to. So you're probably going to see a lot of like reading vlogs themed around these authors, these popular authors of just me trying to catch up. I hope that's interesting to you. If it's not, then I'm sorry, but if it is, let me know because I, I want to just get these books done and read so I can understand, so I can talk, and I can be there, and I can buy the merch. Honestly, if I can be completely honest for a hot minute, I feel like what's one what really won me over to wanting to read Sarah J Mass is just the amount of merch around it. Like, the fact that every single company that I follow on Instagram that makes bookish themed merch is just constantly doing Sarah J Mass books. They're doing a little bit of Jennifer L. Armentrout, which I also haven't read, but I feel like not enough time has passed for me to really say, like, yes or no if I'm gonna read her books. I just haven't gotten there. Chonky romance. There have just been so many cool t-shirts and sweatshirts and things that are Sarah J. Mass themed that I've been like, oh, I really want to, I really want to purchase it, but I want to understand it, and I'm not gonna buy it if I, if I haven't read the book. So I should read the books, but... Like, all the way up until all this awesome merch came out, I had no interest in reading Sarah J. Matt's. Is that pathetic? I feel like that's pathetic. So, yeah, there you have it. There are a bunch of authors that are super popular that I just have not read their books. Most of them I want to. Some of them I don't. I hope this video was somewhat entertaining. Feel free to just yell at me in the comments down below. If you, if you liked this video for whatever reason, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I post videos on Wednesday, on Sundays and Wednesdays, so subscribe to see more from me, especially if you are interested in seeing me do like a Sarah J Mass reading vlog where I just sit down and read one of her series for as long as possible. Also, if I do that, where should I start? Should I start over with Throne of Glass? So let me know all down below. Subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. Uh, I have bookish social media down below, obviously, as I kind of mentioned earlier. So, yeah, if you're interested, follow me there. We can chat, give each other recommendations, be friends, etc. and so forth. But that is everything for this video, and until I see you in the next video, I wish you happy reading.